Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my teepee. <laughs> I love it in here. It's so quiet and chill and it's like a little reading nook. It's perfect. And so I got it in the mind for when we would have children that they could have a little reading nook and it'd be so cute, quiet, quaint, sweet. Just a nice little place, but I have fell in love with it. All right, so today I wanted to talk to you about if we are pregnant again. I will say that um, baby Remy is almost six months old and all the time we get asked, are you pregnant? <laughs> are you trying? when are you gonna have another one and I want to say the when are you gonna have another one is the toughest question it doesn't bother me if people that don't know me ask me that because they don't know what we've been through but when people that know me ask me that it can be really hurtful I don't think they know that they're doing it I don't think they're doing it on purpose or being malicious but I definitely feel that they, you know, need to be more aware of what they say. Um, the reason why it is so hurtful is because of our history and our losses and what we've been through. Um, most people can sit there and say, yep, my kids, I'm going to plan for them to be about two years apart. I'm going to plan, you know, that six month gap of us trying to get pregnant. Um, a lot of couples get pregnant right away. A lot of couples struggle. Um, so it just depends. But I feel like that's really private. You know, that's a very private question to ask. Because I'm pretty much telling them that you're doing the deed. Like, you know what I mean? And that's an intimate thing in your marriage that you'd rather not share with everyone. And so, it is just, it's, it's just really, it catches me off guard. Um, I did have a family member ask me that, you know, that this weekend, and um, it caught me off guard. I, at first, I didn't know what to say, and, you know, my, I pretty much just said, you know, my ovulation's all messed up, my cycles are all messed up, and... I don't know, you know, and that's the truth. Um, so I thought things might, you know, regular, regular, regular ties, I don't know the word, <laughs> go to somewhat of a normal, normalcy after I had baby Remy. Maybe my hormones would work themselves out, you know, and the PCS, PCOS would die down and the endometriosis and the fibroids and maybe my body then would figure out what to do and just start over is what I was hoping for. Not the case. I <laughs> have been having the worst cycles I have ever had. I've been in the worst pain along with them. I um, have done ovulation tests all this month and I've gotten three positives throughout the month so it's like I'm constantly having a surge I don't know if the eggs not releasing or what but it is painful like I can tell you which ovary it is it hurts so bad it hurts to sit down and so whew, enough about my ovaries <laughs> we came on here to talk about babies so um yeah so my point was that it's just really hurtful when somebody who knows what you've been through and knows your story and knows that you cannot plan you know your next baby you're that'll be a surprise to me too if we get pregnant I will be shocked if we get pregnant again and we don't have to go through IVF again. We talk about it all the time. I am seriously scared that we will have to go through IVF again. And it's a tough process. Props to anyone out there who goes through that. It is tough. It is worth it, but it is tough. And 
Um, we got pregnant naturally after we did IVF, after our losses, surprisingly. So I would love to get pregnant naturally again, um, but I'm going to be 27 this year. And in my mind, I wanted, you know, I wanted like two or three kids before I was 30. So, <laughs> it's, life does not go according to your plans, let me tell you. <laughs> so, I am just hopeful that we will get pregnant on our own again. We do still want to adopt. So, I'm really hopeful that we will get pregnant on our own again and then adopt within the next five years. I am just... <sighs> wanting a house full of kids um I would not um be sad if we only ended up having one child baby Remy you know we are completely blessed and I'm over the moon to have her and I'm sitting here and I don't want to seem ungrateful for what we do have because she is my world and I would go through it all again just to have her so as of right now <laughs> no more babies nothing in my tum tum or you know according to kids but nothing in utero <laughs> and um just looking forward to the future and seeing what happens I think first they need to figure out what's going on with my body and um definitely don't get my hopes up about anything because i know um when i did last time it ended up you know being almost a five-year process and that can really put you into a dark place when you never ever thought that you would be in that place i know nobody ever thinks you know or a lot of people don't find out at a young age or i might have trouble having you know conceiving or having kids um, but a lot of women find out after they're married and, you know, they're trying to start a family and then they find out and it takes years and years and years and it can wreck marriages. It can put you into a really dark place. So it's like, I'm glad that I know now and I can be proactive about it, but now it's a whole different ball game too, because are we going to struggle with secondary infertility? Um... Or are we just gonna shockingly find out one day, oh my god, we're pregnant again. And then we had our losses before. So then the other thing in the back of my mind is, well now that my hormones are all messed up again, are, you know, if we do get pregnant again, is it gonna stick? Because losing a child is one of the hardest things that you can go through. And I don't want to go through that again. <sighs> heavy stuff. Heavy, heavy stuff. But, yes, I am looking forward to being pregnant again. I loved being pregnant. No, I am not pregnant. <laughs> I wish people would stop asking me and my family. <laughs> That's okay, though. I, you know, I try not to do it to people now because I, I used to do it. Like, you just, like, people get married. <gasps> First thing you ask, when are you guys going to start trying to have a baby? When are you guys going to start trying to have kids? When this, when that? And it's just a really personal thing. Um... You know, I'm okay with sharing, like I'm pretty open, but that's the hardest question is when are you guys going to have kids, have any more kids? It's like I could tell you, you know, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> we, you know, we did on this day, this day, and this day, and this day. I ovulated on this day. Like, I'll be up front with you. But when you ask me when we're going to get pregnant, I don't know. And that scares me that makes me really sad and i'd rather not think about that i just want to go with the flow have fun and then when it gets to the point of the six months and we haven't gotten pregnant when we do start trying um i'm gonna go back to our doctor she's gonna run the typical tests 
and then possibly have to go back to the IVF doctor from there. Hopefully not. So, all right. <laughs> nice getting up and personal with y'all. <laughs> and I will talk to you soon. Bye.